Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I just recently got this Hyundai Ionic 5 and this video is also going to apply to the EV6 because it's the same connector. Just keep that in mind. I'll put the link in the description to the connector I'm using here. I want to put a dash cam in this car and I'm going to show you the cleanest way to do it. Now obviously putting a dash cam in a car is not hard. You just stick it to the windshield and run the cord down and plug it in. But then you got that cord hanging just all over the place or you spend three hours of your life, you know, tucking it away and hiding it. Well, let me show you if you own an Ionic 5, a super easy way to get this taken care of. So you can see I have tons of old dash cams to choose from here. I think I'm going to choose this one. It's like one of my older dash cams. It even has like the super old USB plug, but this one seems to be pretty reliable. All right, so here we are in the Ionic 5. Now this process should be pretty much the same for the EV6, but I don't have one. I know the uh, adapter will fit, but I'm not sure that the example of me putting it in is gonna be exactly the same, so you may wanna check that out. But this is the Dongar Donger. I have no idea how to say this name. But this is the adapter you're going to need, and it says it's a 10-pin H-Type for Hyundai and Kia. I've chosen to put this uh, camera in. It's not like new technology. I purchased, oh, I'm going to digress a little. I purchased a dash cam like a year ago from Kickstarter. Y'all, don't buy anything from Kickstarter. I don't know why I keep doing it, but... I still haven't got my dash cam from Kickstarter. Don't do it. Just go buy a real product that is made right now. We're gonna pull down the mirror to get it out of the way. And I hope you can see there is a little compartment right here. I should have led with this. This only works on the trims that have the self-dimming mirror. If you have a manual mirror, it's not going to have these cords up here for you to use. So in the Ionic 5, I think that's an SEL or a Limited, not the base models. So you have to have the self-dimming mirror for this to work. So what you do, you reach up here to the very top and you pull down. You can see this little clip I just pulled out. The, the clips that hold it in are on the top. And the bottom pieces are just like hooks. So when you go to put it back in, you just kind of hook the bottom. And then you push it back up until it pops in. So you see this connector in here. Once you get this cover open, you're going to push this little latch up right there and then pull it out. Just like that. All right, now it's time for our adapter. So you can open this and you'll see right here is what we're going to be using. Now it's going to go this direction. Now it's going this direction. This will plug the bottom one here, this one plugs into the the bottom piece and that top piece will plug into this one and then you get this USB plug out of the deal here it's basically just tapping into the power to give you this USB so the skinny one plugs into the bottom one right here just like that so here's what it looks like so far you got that bottom piece plugged in and then that top piece is just hanging there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug this original one that was plugged into this, and we're gonna plug it into the top piece here. You can see I've got the top piece plugged in, and I just kinda poked it in there out of the way. And we still got this piece here kinda dangling down. So now it's time to grab your USB cable. Now this kit comes with two USB cables. You got a micro USB and mini USB. Now this camera I have here uses the mini 
USB plug. We're going to plug our USB cable into this uh, USB connection here. Okay, so I got my USB cable plugged in and we're just tucking that back in there and then we're going to run it all the way to the top and then we're going to kind of push it in. You see how that pushes in? So now we only have six inches of cable here to deal with. What you want to do before you just place it, you want to kind of check to see what the picture is going to be because this one's going to be kind of permanent. It doesn't have a suction cup. It just uh, uses these uh, 3M strips that's going to hold it to the windshield. So I want to check that it's in a good spot before I stick it. Now, I originally thought put it up close to the top. Looking close at the screen, it can see some of the center console. See there? If you have it down low like this, it can see the whole area. If you move it up like this, some of the edges are blocked. So there is our unobstructed view out the front windshield. So now we just got to get rid of this extra cable here by tucking it up in there out of the way. Not a big deal at all. Our extra cable is tucked up there out of the way. So now to put this put this cover here on, you put the bottom part in first because they're like little hooks. So you just put it in there like that and then you push up. You push up here on the top and it'll click in. And there you have it. It's all put together back nice and neat. Just one little cord coming out and just going bloop right into this with no mess, no fuss. Just a little connection there behind the mirror. Takes less than 10 minutes, probably a 3 out of 10 difficulty. Anybody should be able to do this. Not a big deal at all.